Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Christian and you are watching a dev story. So today I'll be talking a little bit about searching and traversing algorithms. And in, in this sense, what I mean by searching is when you're looking for a specific element in a data structure and uh, by traversing is when you are just uh, iterating or looking through the data structure either to search an element or to operate on the, on the elements. So in this sense, there are several uh, algorithms that can allow you to do uh, searching or traversing inside a uh, data structure. The, the most basic one is linear search. So if you have a linear data structure, you can do linear search. And basically, if you have an array, for example, you can start looking all the elements inside the, inside the array and go one by one until you find the element that you're looking for. If uh, you have sorted elements, for example, in, a, in an array, then you can do binary search. And I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, what is binary search. So binary search uh, works assuming that the data structure is sorted. It could be, for example, an array or it could be a tree. And, uh, and what, what you do is you know that uh, you have, I don't know, a certain uh, numbers. Let's say you have numbers from 1 to 20, but the list is size 10. So you know that the list is so, uh, the, the array is sorted with these elements and you are trying to look if you, the element that you're looking for is uh, uh, on the left side or on the right side. Let's say we're looking for the number 2, right? Instead of trying to traverse the whole array, what we do is to check for the uh, element in the middle. We check here and we check is 12 larger than 2? Yes or no? In this case, we know that it's larger, so we can discard the whole right-hand side. We just look on the left side. And we do the same, right? We check here. This is a even number, so we check 4. When we check 4, we compare it to 2, that is the element that we're looking for, and we know that since it's 4, it should be on the left side. And then we here we can pick, uh, let's say we pick 1, and we know that it's larger than 1, so we get to 2. So what we do at the end is, at each step, discard half of the element, either because they are lower or higher than the element that we're looking for. And that's why the complexity of binary search in worst case is big O of log n. So then we get to DFS, or the first search. That is basically one of the most common algorithms for traversing trees or graphs. And the way that it works is basically you have one node, and some children or a neighbor nodes to this one, where you start going for one of them, right? You, you discover one and start going deeper into what are the children or neighbor nodes of that one and so forth and so on until you get to the, to the last one that doesn't have any children. Let's say that we have this tree and we start visiting the nodes starting from node one. So from here, we start visiting, well, it, it's, it's fine either way, but let's say we start with number two, right? So if we start with number two, we visit it and instead of going to three now, we're going to go with four. And after visiting four, we visit five. And after visiting five, then we go to three. And that's how you will visit a tree using DFS. It can be implemented uh, recursively. It's one of the most common implementations is by doing it recursively. But you can also do it iteratively by using a stack. So that way, the last node that you discover is the, one, the first one that you're going to visit. And you will get more in depth first than checking all the um, siblings nodes of uh, when, when you are traversing the tree or the graph, let's say. Then we get to the uh, BFS, that is basically the counterpart to uh, BFS. BFS means breadth first search. Op opposite to what DFS was doing, that it was going only for one node and the children of those nodes. In BFS, what you do is you try to discover all the nodes at one level. Then after you have visited them all, then you go to the next level and start visiting all in there as well. If we take into consideration the same three than before, let's say we start visiting it from the first node. If we visit one, then the next node to visit will be, for example, number two. But instead of going now to node four and five, as we would do, do uh, in DFS, what we do is go breadth first, right? So we visit node number three first, and then we go to four and five. Of course, if we have more nodes below three, we will still visit first four and five, and then go with the nodes in below three. If we had more on this side, for example, then that will be visited before we go to this node here and here. And it's usually implemented using a queue instead of a stack. So you start queuing the nodes that you are uh, checking, like uh, discovering, let's say, 
So when you have one node, you discover all the children of this node or all the, con all the neighbor nodes of this one. And after you have checked them all, then you go to the next level and start checking all the nodes from, uh, from them, right? From that level. And that's about it. So now you know uh, more about uh, some searching and traversing algorithm that might be very useful for you as a software developer, but also uh, for a technical interview, you have more tools to, to know a little bit more. So let me know what you think about this video. And uh, put, put your if, if you like it, like it, share it, uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the description. If you want me to show you a little bit more on the implementation side, uh, don't forget to, to also uh, download my guides on, the, on my website. I put it uh, uh, there in the description. And, and you can see some implementations of it. And of course, if you want me to do a video, a specific video about it, just uh, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.